Welcome back. Well, spring has sprung and Rebecca Cracker is here and she is taking thrifting finds to a whole new level from house projects and staging for her Airbnb and clients home to designing your own pantry at home. Yes. <laughs> so first, let's start off with Miss Rebecca. What made you get into thrifting, bargain buying and all of this? Because you obviously look up oh, oh well thanks <laughs> um i have always loved home decor fashion mm -hmm. but i like to change my look whether that's my personal look okay. or my or my looks in my homes mm -hmm. or the houses that i'm selling or remodeling okay. so um on the video with the pantry um, we built our house a couple years ago yeah. we had not really finished out the pantry kind of mosh podged it together and i just my husband and i had this idea we looked on pinterest um, he went to the local hardware store okay. in Starville, and we just went for it. So I've been collecting things, and I thought, oh, I want my pantry to almost be mm -hmm. um, that design element yeah. that's still pretty. And then you, and ha you have the food underneath. We'll, we'll help show a video in a second. So you've got some spring stuff here. So talk to me about where you find found this decorations. I know you know people are swapping out their decorations with spring coming in. Mm -hmm. So where can they find stuff like this? And to me, earlier you said it was very affordable. Yes, so um, in a lot of the houses that I decorate, I like to have a very simple traditional background. Okay. So I've kind of whited it all out. Okay. But I love to bring in seasonal pieces with a pop of color. Mm -hmm. So things like, like this. Like that is beautiful. I wish so, I could like, look at this little, uh, rabbit. Um, yeah. I love it. Little porcelain bunny. And then what about this? Are are these, is this silverware more for decoration or would we be using this? I've already used them at Have my house. Really? Yes. <laughs> I like pieces that can be pretty but are functional. Okay. Um, and so I can find things from nice antique stores mm -hmm. to um, the lower end bargain stores. Okay. Um, like little items like this, you that. know, the four for a dollar bin. Really? Okay. Uh, but we then also, yeah, we love a deal. <laughs> um, but then also you can find larger pieces mm -hmm. at nicer antique stores. Yeah. And then we see we have our throw pillow and throw pillows can get very expensive. Mm -hmm. And I thought that came from a boutique. Yes. And where did our throw pillow come from? Can we give the details? We love I didn't want to say it. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, and I like to um, seasonal items. Okay. It's fun for me to shop them off season. Yes. I so do the same thing. you can find the best you can deal. way cheaper. Yes. So and I, I probably bad. bought this at Thanksgiving or okay. Christmas. Okay. Um, so, you know, shop local and buy the really nice things mm -hmm. at the gift shops and the clothing stores. Okay. But when you find things off season for a deal, like you need a girl. Kind of like so my explain wallpaper. this. Okay, so wallpaper apparently mm -hmm. everyone is back in style. And you got this for four dollars. Four dollars. And yes. I mean it looked so beautiful in your pantry. Thank you. So why do you think wallpaper is coming back? And what made you get drawn to wallpaper? Because some people love it or hate it. I personally right. love wallpaper. I think like I this. grew up seeing wallpaper, and then a lot of times in our remodel houses, I'm steaming it. There you go. Here's oh, the yes. video of okay. her redoing there, ooh, her I, pantry. Mm -hmm. And look, I just There's love wallpaper. the details. Thank you. It's, it's just a beautiful backslash, and I feel like it's not much. I feel like people, when they think of wallpaper, they think of maybe was it the 70s when it was popular everywhere, and then this is just subtle, just adds a pop of color to everything. Yes. So if we want to stay up with your home finds, where can people find your home finds and home decor and renovations? So you can find me um, on Instagram, Rebecca K at home and Facebook just under Rebecca Cracker. All right, well, we're gonna continue to talk. We'll see you guys after the break.